How are we doing today? You want to learn how to make some unique art that you can hang in your house that nobody else can duplicate? And you can do it right in your kitchen. I'm going to show you how today. Alice, roll the intro. Okay, like I said, this is a really simple project that you can do in your house. I'm doing this right in my dining room here with very minimal equipment. Basically what it is, is light painting. And I'll explain that in a second. You're just gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a subject, and today we're gonna to be using a dish full of uh, colorful jelly beans, and camera, and a backdrop. And for the backdrop, we just have a white piece of paper. I have a white piece of um, poster paper that I have taped to the table and taped to an old tripod just to make a, a seamless background. I curved it like that just to make a seamless background. Uh, because I don't want any, I don't want any lines in the, if we have two pieces of paper, one like, one like this and one like this, you'd have a line right there and I don't like that. So this makes a nice curve and it really makes for a nice background. Okay, camera settings. Um, what's really important about this is a long shutter speed because we're gonna be turning off all these lights and we're gonna shoot this in the dark. And we're going to light it with a little, little pen light like that. This came on, I got this <laughs> as a gift from a friend. It was on a little keychain, and she saw, she saw me struggling to put my key in the lock one night outside because the porch light wasn't on. And so she got this for me to put on the key ring so I could see the lock. It's pretty thoughtful, but I found another use for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our camera here with a 15 second exposure. Now, yours may vary. This, there are a ton of variables in this, in this process because you are controlling the light yourself by painting light onto your subject. The more light you paint on it, the brighter it will be. So you'll have to experiment a little bit with your camera settings. But for now, I have an ISO of 100, keep the noise down, and I have an aperture of f7.1 with a 15 second exposure time. The shutter is gonna stay open for 15 seconds before it closes. That will give me time to paint the light on the, on the areas that I want to paint on with, and light up and expose in, on the subject, being the jelly beans. You know what? The, the easiest way to do this is just show you. All right. What we got to do first is we got to get our jelly beans set here. And of course, <clears throat> these will probably go all over, but we'll set up our subject right here. I have a little ice cream dish that I bought at the at the thrift store, and it, it kind of makes a a neat looking photograph. Now I want jelly beans on top, above the rim of the, the glass. So we can see them in the photograph. So we'll just stack these up on here like this. That looks, that looks pretty good right there, I think. Oh, you know what, that green one's got a little flat spot on it. Take care of that. The selection process for these jelly beans is an arduous task, so only the best ones make it into the photograph. Oh, that one didn't make it. All right, need another red one right there. That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, when you frame up your shot, this piece of paper is, is kind of narrow, 
right here. So I've just, I've got the cup, the, the dish of jelly beans on the left third of the frame. And I've just got it framed up so it's all white. So I, I don't get any of the background or the table or anything like that. So let's get this out of the way. Set your camera, if you, either you use a, a shutter release, which when you push the button, it opens the shutter. <clears throat> and when you let it go, it closes it. Or you can set your camera, if you don't have that, you can use a, uh, the built-in timer on your camera. And I have mine set to the two second timer. So I'll push the button, it'll wait two seconds, it'll beep, it'll and it'll beep, and it'll for two seconds, and then it'll open the shutter. For 15 seconds, that'll give me time to light everything up that I need to light up. And then it'll close the shutter. And hopefully we'll have a picture. So let's try one. What do you say? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off my video lights here and we're going to try a shot. So it's going to get dark for a second, but relax. I'll be back. Okay. So we have our shot ready to go. Hit the shutter button. Two second timer, shutter opens, and all you have to do is take your light and paint light where you want it to be. This is gonna create all kinds of shadows and highlights in the photograph. And the shutter just closed. And we're back. Let's look what we got. This is so cool. Look at that. I have my, I have my um, white balance set, set to auto. So we're getting a little, I see a little kind of a red tinge in there on the, on the corners, but that's okay. You, when you do this project, you are going to have however many photos you take, they're all going to be unique. Nobody can duplicate this. The shot I decide to, to process and, and um, print and put on my wall, nobody will be able to duplicate it. I won't be able to duplicate your shot because I don't know how far away the light was. I don't know how, how you position the light. All the, all, the, all the factors that go into lighting this with light painting, you get a, a unique shot that's unique to you. And every one that we're going to take tonight is going to be different. Another interesting thing that you can do is you can change your white balance. Let's just try that. Go into your menu. Uh, let's see. Go into your menu and there is a, you can change your white balance. Right now I have an automatic white balance on this, set on this. There's daylight, there's shade, there's, uh, let's see, daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten light. Tungsten light is, usually you use it for when you're, you're photographing with um, incandescent lights that are in your house because they have a yellow cast to it and tungsten White balance setting will, has a blue cast to it, which offsets that, which makes your exposure look the way it's supposed to. But in this case, we're going to use tungsten light and we should get a really blue photograph. We're going to try one. It's going to get dark again. Um, one thing I will tell you about when you, when you're doing this light painting like this, when you're painting around your subject, Keep the light moving. Don't just sit in one spot and, and burn a hole with light into that, into your subject because it's going to blow out on your photograph. Keep the light moving, different angles. Don't shine it into the lens because you're going to get a lot of lens flare. Unless that's the effect you want, then go for it. I'm not going to tell you how to, how to do your art, but just be aware that that's going to happen. If you, if you shine your light into the lens, it's going to, it's going to give you a light flare like that, a hot spot. Same as if you just if you just bury the light on one spot in the on the subject, it's gonna it's gonna give you a hot spot. In fact, I'll show you that right now. Let's um, 
Let's try one and I'll show you. Let's turn this light off. Okay, we remember we have our, our white balance set to tungsten, so things should get really blue here. All right, let's just bury this light right there. And we'll put one over there. Now the shutter is going to be open for 15 seconds. And then when it'll close and the photograph will be recorded. And we should have really... Turn lights on. We should have a very overexposed area in the, in the photograph. <laughs> and I'm not going to say that that looks too bad, actually. That's a unique shot. Look at all the, look at all the, sh look at the shadows in the back and all the spectral highlights from the glass. That's another thing about the, the subject that you use. If you use a glass like this that has a lot of lines and stuff in it, you get all the re light refraction and it goes all over the place. And that's recorded on the photograph. <laughs> that's a cool image right there. It's a little bright in the middle, you know, it's not really... But it's, it's cool. So, all right, let's try to take another one a little more, a little more even. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's dark in here. All right, here we go. Two second timer. Shutter's open. We're gonna hit the top right there, like that. Around the sides. Like that, maybe in the front a little bit. We'll throw some light on the background. And let's see what that looks like. All right, let's look at this one. That's, that's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. That's a cool shot right there. And the unique thing about this, the great thing about this is nobody, nobody can repeat that. I don't think I can repeat that shot right now if I tried it again. What else can we do? You know what I have? I have some, I have some gels that I use for my video lights. They're colored. Hang on a second. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more, one more cool thing. Man, I love this stuff. Okay, we still have our white balance set to, to tungsten. This is just a red gel that I use to put in front of my, in front of my video lights when I want to add some artsy fartsy stuff to it. But what if we shine this light through the red gel with a with a with a blue cast to it from the tungsten white balance, is it going to be red or is it going to be purple? Let's take a shot and find out. What do you say? All right, here we go. All right. Hit the shutter button. All right, get it done. Now you're going to need more light when you do this with with a gel, so you're gonna to have to have your light on there a little longer. Let's throw some blue in there. Okay, let's look at that. Let's look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I don't know if I like that so much. I would have to play with that a little bit. Maybe what I would do is I would use a little bit of the gel on the background and light up the front with it and then light up the, the, the subject, the jelly bean glass, just with the light, without the gel. But you're, you're, you're seeing my point here. Nobody will be able to duplicate this. And it's such a cool project. If you, uh, if you, if you decide to try this, Share the fake pictures with me. I'd love to see them. Oh, you know what? That orange one 
It's a little out of there. That's better. I'd love to see the photos if you get, if you take some. Try this project at home. Just remember to experiment with the with the shutter speed times. I'm at 15 seconds. You can use it longer, but then you would have to you may have to um, close your 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 shutter down a little bit to less let less light in. But play with it, experiment. That's how you learn. And the other thing I would tell you is keep your light moving. Experiment with the speed of how you how you move it. You know, just you're actually painting light in the places that you want to be exposed. So try that. It's a very fun project. And with a subject like this, it's even sweeter. See you guys. Go take some pictures. All right, I'm gonna do another one. This is awesome.